when I have a new student come to me, this is what we do. We sit down and we do an, what's called an evaluation. They kind of go through certain things in their life. I'll be listening to Maria the whole time on exactly what they have as opposed to what they think they have. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing with, with Courtney. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> so tell us your story, Courtney. What makes you special? <laughs> well, I believe I'm special. Um, I do not know 100%. I remember growing up and feeling kind of lonely and different from others around me. And I never understood. Yep, same and story I, with me. Yeah, I still don't understand anything either. Um, the older I got, the more... I felt by myself and I didn't really have a belief in God or anything like that and you know you go through life changes, you grow up and then you get into different places in your life and um, I definitely got into a darker place and I got my, I found my belief with God and then from there um, things started making sense, things started like, I always call it a puzzle like a puzzle just put together from mm -hmm. my past into where I'm at now. Exactly. So I look back at things after having some type of realization or something happening, or I like to call them, I get a lot of feeling. I feel things. And um, it just comes, somehow it kind of coordinates with experiences that I had in the past that I never understood. I mean, I didn't know if I was crazy or if I was... No, no one's crazy when you have things like this going on, but you, you kept talking about you get feelings. Now, that's empathic. Being empathic works two ways. One, you feeling what everybody around you feels, and that's almost very correlates with a life review. Okay, you're you're feeling a life review throughout your life because you're feeling everybody else and what, what's happening with them. And it's not so much what you're doing to them, but just what other people are doing to them and you're picking up on those feelings. Or like today, Yvonne came in and immediately my wrist was killing me. And I said to her, I said, what's going on with the wrist? And I, she showed me her wrist and it was like, it looked bruised almost and it looked poofy. I'm like, phew, that thing hurts. So I immediately started doing Reiki on her. Um, just because I could feel the pain she was going through, I didn't, you know, it's, that's the, the whole empath, yes, empathic, um, Barb, you got it right, um, so, and this goes both ways, you feeling the physical plane, but also the spiritual plane as well, you're picking up on past loved ones, this, ha this is how it works for me, when I go into a reading, the first thing I get is feelings, they'll, uh, touch me on a certain spot or they'll poke me prod me um, sometimes I don't feel like I got punched and it's just their energy it's not them physically punching me it's just how their energy is coming to me um, for example if I have somebody that had an aneurysm my head will feel like it exploded um, in a certain spot it might start here and then form into the back um, right uh, somebody that's in an accident that broke their neck I will immediately get shooting pains and like almost feels like a break between my neck and my shoulders um, it's it's picking up on exactly what happened to them through the feelings you're getting and this is spiritual now when you're using it on the on the physical plane it's you picking up on how to be empathic towards somebody that's going through something that's why you have that gift to help them on the physical plane now with me, it's me helping them on the spiritual plane for the physical plane that is left here to deal with it. Okay. So seeing Christina, um, maybe somebody is in uh, transition, not even transition, they're in a plateau. Mm -hmm. And she'll get overwhelming feelings, emotions, not just the physical pain as far as empathy right. goes, but the emotional pain. Yeah, empathic goes with emotional as well. Yeah, so go ahead. yeah and, and I've seen her, you know, uh, just cry because she just feels so much sadness or she'll say you know I'm getting a lot of anger feeling a lot of anger off of him or you know like I'm just getting so much joy and love off of off of this person so I've seen her get very sad to where she cries and has had to take a break to get you know um, basically get her shit together so um, that I think that's also part of, part of empathy is not only taking like feeling the physical effects but also the emotional Effects of empathy as well. So we address that you are an empath, okay, but you already knew that. Sorry, say that again. Sorry. 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 S
Yeah. You uh, you already knew you were an empath, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So, and usually that's your guides giving you that um, that answer because they need you to understand that uh, you need to know what you have so that you can use it. Okay. And my ongoing uh, saying in the shop is when the student's ready, the teacher will appear and that will be me. I'm praying to, to have my mind exposed to different things. I knew that I had different gifts. I didn't really know what my gifts were. And I knew there was a whole realm for my upbringing that was like, you don't go here. You don't do these types of things. Mm -hmm. You don't talk to these types of people. Same here. And um, throughout my life, it, it was like, well, why not? And so I basically prayed and asked for guidance as to where I should learn uh, about this other realm, this other world that is like, you know, we don't do this. And uh, I was working at the Franklin Street Park for a long time, and there was a girl named Sam, who knew Chris, and I was talking to Sam about these types of things, and she said, wow, you should really be back to Chris. And so that's where I met Chris, and I remember the first day that I met Chris, um, I walked into the shop, and she looked at me, and she was like, wow, okay. And I found out um, later on that I was actually one of her students, um, and that's why she was looking at me, because she saw the cross on my, on my forehead, being that I was one of her students um, um, in the other realm. And that's basically where I started with Chris, and um, there was a there was a large period of time where I only saw Chris probably like once every two months, and I knew in my heart that it just wasn't the right time. It, I wasn't in the right place. I needed to go through some more things, uh, and when the time was right, then then I would be. Then I would have more time with her to learn about what I needed to do. And eventually, um, I went through what I needed to go through. And now I'm here with Chris. So now you're my student. We're kind of yes. filling your gift out and uh, practicing with it. Yes. And I'm extremely excited uh, to learn more about my gifts. Go more in depth um, in learning what is out there.